Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a haul video. Um, so this was not bought in one day. It was bought over a week. And, um, <coughs> sorry. And then also the first half is going to be a haul and the second half is going to be a gratis haul. So because I do work at Sephora, I get gratis. Um, I'm going to be doing a gratis haul one time a month. So at the end of every month, I'm going to get my bin that they keep at the store full of all the goodies that we get. Um, and that's going to be my gratis haul. I'm going to do them both in one this time because I was shopping. So, yeah. I'm just going to get right into it. So, it's MAC and then there's Sephora. And then the first thing that I'm going to show you, excuse me, because they are a little dirty because I have used them. But I love crown brushes. I think they're so soft. I think they're amazing. And um, I literally, this is the second time that I've purchased from Crown. I love them. They're on Holt Look all the time. So I got this, um, oh, drop one. I don't know where I went. One is a powder brush, and this was a travel set. This one's dirty. I've been using it for concealer. Then an eye brush, a fluffy eye brush. Um, a smaller powder brush that I have been using for blush. And then an angled liner brush, or this is, no, this isn't it. The one that I dropped was an angled liner brush. So that was one set. And then these ones I ordered um, separately. So this is a flat top blending brush. And they are just so soft. This one's just a tapered brush. And this one I've been using um, for my concealer and it is amazing and like I said they're all so soft I just can't like I love them I um, will be attending I'm at New York and I hope 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 they're there because I plan on buying every brush from them that's how much I love them alright so this was what I got at MAC sorry I have everything so I got three lipsticks. I got Riri Woo, Viva Glam Rihanna, and Cyber. So those are the three boxes. And um, I have used some of these. So this is the Riri Woo. And here's a swatch. I don't know if you can see it. There's a swatch of it. Alright. On to the next one. Um, so that one's really nice. It is like Ruby Woo. It's red. Um, but I like Riri Woo more than Ru Ruby Woo. Um, so this is the the Viva Glam Rihanna and that's a swatch of that one so it's the second one and then that's what it looks like it is a lot creamier than the other one I think because the other one's straight matte I don't think the that this one is matte um, I have not worn this one yet but, like I said, it's so creamy and it's so smooth when it goes on my hand. I can't wait for it to, um, to wear it. Now this one is called Cyber. I really like this one because it is a dark purple. And I love the dark purple colors. That seems to always be the colors that I go to. So it's this um, third one right here. I always go to the dark colors um, and again that one was so I really like their lipsticks and I know a lot of people say oh my god Mac is so expensive well $15 for a lipstick is really not that bad um, so here are I got three eyeshadows this one's called lucky green and this is what it looks like 
So it's really pretty. And I'm gonna sw oh, I'm gonna swatch them and then I'll show you all three of them at the end. So that one is a pearl finish. So it's not glittery, but it does have like an iridescent kind of finish, which I really like. This one is called Plum Dressing. That's what this one looks like. It is a really, really, really pretty, um, like a burgundy, not quite purple color, which I have been obsessed with lately. Um, and this one is, again, a Velux Pearl finish. So it is iridescent. All three of these are the Velux Pearl finishes um, from another company. There is the swatch for the three of them. So this is the green, this is the plum, and then this one is the coppering. That's the color of the third one. So that's what I got from MAC. Um, Alright, so this is what I bought from Sephora, and then after I'll show you the gratis that I got from Sephora. Um, this is called Short Circuit. It's a NARS lipstick. Um, from the guy Bordin board board line. I'm not really sure how you say it. So I'm going to swatch this on my other hand. And this is a gorgeous color. I love orange. Um, I think I've said that in a past video. Orange is by far my favorite color ever. Um, so there's that. And that one is extremely pretty. So then I got a whole bunch of eyeshadows. This is Urban Decay called Maui Wowie. I'm sure everybody has heard of it. And again, I'm going to swatch all these. And then at the end, I'll show you what the actual color looks like. But that's it. It's a silver, glittery, green undertone. It's really nice for your inner corner. Um, I have it on today. I actually have both these color on colors on I'm about to show you. This one is called um, Last Call, also by Urban Decay, which i am probably said this before, but Urban Decay is my favorite, favorite, favorite um, company, and I've really, really been liking NARS lately, but um, by far Urban Decay takes, takes the trophy for eyeshadow at least because their eyeshadows are so 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 creamy it doesn't, even, it doesn't matter if it's matte, it doesn't matter if it's a glitter, it doesn't matter what it is they're all so creamy, they're all so pigmented they're all going to give you a great look no matter what so this is a NARS eyeshadow called Grandines mm. You'll, you'll notice throughout my videos, I'm probably the worst at pronouncing these names. And this one is a matte maroonish orange color. And again, I'll show you the swatches after I um, get finished with these NARS eyeshadows. Let's see, this one is another NARS eyeshadow called... Persia. One of these is from their old collection that they came out with. I'm not sure which one. I think it was the um, Andy Warhol collection. And then this one is just a burnt orange color. You see the orange pattern? I told you I love orange. So, and who doesn't love the NARS packaging? Um, it's so soft. It's so sleek. It looks nice. Like, I was telling um, my fiance the other day, I really just want a drawer full of NARS eyeshadows because I, like, look at how cute this is. It's so cute. It's so soft. Um, it's nice because you can actually see what it says on the back. This one is from the Guy Borden collection, and this one is called uh, wist, wistful thinking and this is a nice blue color um, I know I haven't said it before but my best friend actually just died of cervical cancer last February um, so anything that kind of looks like the color teal ish blue I buy because I do as much as I can in remembrance of her so anytime I can wear teal I love it and then this is the package for the NARS duo 
This is a brand new one. It just came out this week and it is part of the um, Narcissistic line. And um, this one is a duo, so it's got purple and a golden color. So, swatching, swatching, swatchy, swatchy. And this is the other color I'm wearing on my eyes today, um, the purple color. So let me show you what this looks like. So here is my handful of swatches. That is the lipstick. The first, the row with the two in it is Urban Decay. And then these other five, I don't know if you can see them that well. The other five are the, um, the NARS. So that's the NARS and Urban Decay eyeshadows that I bought that day. That's all that I got um, from Sephora besides this Buxom eyeshadow, which is a cream eyeshadow. And I have never used their cream eyeshadows, but I bought it because I have a Chihuahua. And this is their cream eyeshadow, and it's called Chihuahua. So y'all know I had to get it. I could not resist. Um, it's actually really, 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 really creamy. But it's really creamy. It's really sparkly. And all right, so today I went to Walmart, and I do not have anything from the hard candy line. Um, I've actually never tried anything, but I keep seeing everybody with this glamouflage um, concealer. So I'm really excited to try this. It's not even opened yet. It says heavy duty concealer with a concealer pencil, which will be nice. Um, I keep seeing all these YouTubers with it, so I'm really excited to try it. Um, the next thing that I got, these four eyeshadows. And I'm not going to swatch these ones because I haven't, well, let me see. I haven't opened them yet, so I don't really know how hard it's going to be to get into the box. Looks like it's taped up pretty well. Um, so one is called Minx. The other one is called the gold one. This is the gold one. This is called Fancy Free. Um, this blue one. It's a dark, dark blue. This one's called Sore, I guess. S O R I E E. And then this is another goldish one, and it is called Attraction. I got the box open for this purple one. I'm not going to hold y'all hostage and uh, try to get the boxes open for all these, but I will swatch this purple one. But there it is. So these, these will be nice. They're really cute. They say single and loving it <laughs> on the front, which I'm not single, but I am loving the eyeshadow, so I'll take it. Um, so then I bought one more thing from Hard Candy, and it is this Sheer Envy Primer Ultra Light Formula Base, and it's the white bottle, in case anybody was wondering, with the black writing. Um, there was one of the, I guess it's the regular base that was already opened that I actually, that's the one I really wanted, but I decided to get this one. Um, see how this one works. So, so, let's see. It feels really nice. It kind of feels like the um, Cover FX primer. Like a gel kind of base. We'll see. Because sometimes I get worried with these kind. Because sometimes your makeup like never dries with them. So we will definitely see. Sorry if you hear that noise. My dog is ripping up a box. Kind of beside me. So the next thing that I um, bought at Walmart were these NYC singles. And these are in the color 903. I guess they don't have a color name. Um, this is just like, I got it for a brow bone color. This one is 915 Broadway Look. I guess one, this one's called Base, Basic Instinct. This one is 909 Manhattan Gaze. And then this one is 905 Gossip Girl. So, those are what I bought. 
Um, and then this is going to be, this part will be what I got for gratis from work. Um, I don't know about you, but getting free makeup, who doesn't love getting free makeup? I love getting free makeup, and it's also free skincare, so it's great. Um, so with this gratis, um, basically the new products that are coming out, the brands bring them in and give us them so we can try them, so we can sell them. Um, I also got these two Bite Beauty lipsticks. And I actually don't see very many people say things about these online. So, the colors of these, um, I cannot say enough good things about them. This is the color of this one. Um, it is called Rose. These, when I say these last all day, I mean these last all day. Um, this one's called Coral. They are both so pigmented. And this coral one is my favorite out of everything ever. So, there's those two swatches. Swatchy swatch for you. So, the next thing that I got was um, two Benefit Pore Professionals. Um, I feel like everybody in the world loves these. Um, I actually really don't use them that much. They are great. Don't get me wrong. They're amazing. But I just don't tend to use them. I like the more, um, like I like their Primer That Gal the best. But I will get some use out of these. Um, I probably will give one away. It says Pro Bomb to minimize the appearance of pores. A lot of people are comparing it to um, the baby lip or the baby skin. I mean, then I got two packets of the Glam Glow, um, the new Glam Glow, which has the hyaluronic acid in it. Um, I like this one a lot because I'm not into rubbing chunks of leaves on my face. Um, a lot of people love it. I don't. So. I like this one. It's creamy. There's no chunks of leaves. Yeah. So the next thing that I got was um, this Clarisonic brush head, which is the deep pore cleansing one. So it's the one with the teal blue on the inside. Um, I got this because I did a training with the Clarisonic rep, and she is amazing. So that was great. I love um, learning about the Clarisonic. Next thing I got was, if you've been to Sephora, you've seen that Stila came out with a whole new set of um, eyeliners. So this one is the Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. They also came out with the Stay All Day um, Smudge Eyeliners. And I got it in this awesome pink color, which is called Paradise Pink. Go figure. So there is the color of it. It is so pink and it is so pretty. I'm obsessed. I am not really a liquid eyeliner girl. I don't do the wing. I don't I don't really wear any eyeliner to be honest with you, but um, I am really excited about this. I was going to buy one and then I got that in my gratis. So I was like, this is perfect. The next thing I got was also by Benefit Cosmetics and it's called Peak A Bright Eyes, an eye illuminating kit. So, it's a real eye opener. This is what the front looks like. So, it's really pretty. Just lost all the brushes. This is what it looks like. So, it comes with a cream base slash eyeshadow. Then these three colors. And then it comes with um, these two little brushes. Which, they're not that bad of brushes. Um... If you wanted to bring this, like, put this in your purse, you could definitely get a nice look with the brushes that it comes with. Um, yeah, so they're not, they're not horrible. I mean, they're not Sigma brushes or Crown brushes, but they're not horrible. I ain't mad at them. I ain't hating on them either. So, oh, look what I found. This is a Crown brush, the angled liner brush that I was telling you about. Totally random. So the next thing I got was this Naked Urban Decay Skin. Um, like I said, I'm an Urban Decay lover, so I will use this all the time. This is their Beauty, Bra Beauty Bomb DNA Repair Optical Blurring Oil Free. 
This is the full size, which is amazing. This is what I was the most excited for, guys. You, I don't, they're not launched in our store. I don't think they're launched in any store yet. But it is the Urban Decay Naked Lip Gloss. This is amazing. The color is so pretty. Um, let's see. This is called Walk of Shame. It's, it's got a sheer color. I don't know if uh, you can really see it, see it. But it's it's got a sheer color. Um, so it's a Naked Urban Decay lip gloss. It is really soft. It's not sticky. I cannot say that enough. It is not sticky. Which I love. Um, I'm so excited for that whole new line to come out. I don't know if you guys seen it. I got to play with it the other night. The new foundation that they came out with is so to die for. You guys all have to go buy it the day it comes out. Okay, so the next thing I got, I'm going to try to hurry up. There's only a few things left. Was this Peter Thomas Roth. It is an anti-aging cleansing gel. Oil-free, anti-wrinkle technology. Guess what, y'all? I have sensitive sin. Not really sensitive, but... Some things bother me. I think I just say it. I'm not really sure if it's sensitive. I don't like break out. I just get really dry. So I'm going to use it. I don't really care. I forgot these. Um, I did buy these because Corez. Sorry, it cut off. Um, okay, so Corez is going out of business at Sephora. Great line. Don't care what anybody says. It's an amazing line. But um, yeah, it just doesn't sell really well, I guess. So. I got these lip butters. I got two of them. They were like $6. This one is in the Wild Rose. Oh, look at that. I'm showing it to you with the cover on it. So it's dark. It's not like a strong pigment. Well, it's not going to like make you look like you're wearing lipstick. Um, it's great to put under a lipstick. And the second one is Quince. Yeah, Quince. And they smell so good. I love the smell of them. And uh, I'm a smells person. I'm not putting anything that smells funky on my lips. Especially if it smells funky and tastes funky. Mm -mm. It ain't happening. So I got these two. And like I said, they were like 6 to $8 together. I mean like a piece, not together. Each one of them was 6 to $8. And the next thing I got was a Fresh Sugar Lips. Now, let me not lie. I've never had one of these before, but let me say, amazing. Like, when I go to work tomorrow, I will be buying a full-size one. Because not only does it make your lips feel so good, it tastes good. And um, I put this on last night when I got home. And I'm not kidding, like an hour later, it was gone. But my lips still felt so soft and so nice. I was like, this is this is from God. God just sent me this because I've had chapped lips for the past few days. And he didn't want my lips to be funky no more. Um, so yeah, that was a gift from God. Thank you, Sephora. Um, and the last two things is these Elizabeth and James Nirvana white and black fragrances so yeah um, Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen they created their own line called Nirvana it is an addictive smell and it has like sandalwood vanilla I don't know what I know that the uh, scent type is addictive and those are two of the notes that are in it I usually wear Tom Ford I like the real musky smells and then I like the real flowery smells but let me tell you these smell like I really wish I could just you know let you smell it you have to go and you have to try it because they smell so good separate, but together they smell even better. Um, oh, I just love them. They go perfect together. Um, but like I said, separate they smell really great. And the reason that they created the white and the black was so if you're not like a muskier kind, you can wear the white. If you like the muskier kind of smells, you can wear the black. So it's kind of a happy medium. Um, we had the bottles at work, and I sprayed it on, and it lasted like six or seven hours, like maybe even longer, because I did it when I got to work, and when I got home from work that night, I could still smell it on my clothes, which was a big deal, because um, I cannot stand anything more than when I spray perfume on. By the time I get to work, 
it's gone. I'm like, what the heck? Why am I even spraying perfume on this pointless? So, yeah. That, oh, I got one more thing. I lied, I got one more thing. This is the Kate Somerville, um, it's called Dillo Oil. Haven't tried it yet, but, um, I got a whole bunch of Kate Somerville products, and they're all amazing, so, I'm sure this is gonna be the bomb.com, too. You feel me? And then, um, a 100 point gift that's going to be coming out within the next two weeks is this Benefit is Potent Eye Cream and um, I love it so I we got it in the other day and I automatically was like I'm going to use my points and I'm a points hoarder like I think I have 600 points right now and I just used 300 of them comes in this cute cute little jar not like a cheap sample. This is a really good size. It is completely full. And when I opened it, it was all the way up to the top. So, so I just wanted to show you guys my haul. Um, I am not bragging. Like, when the new stuff comes out, I just can't resist. It's just so hard sometimes. So, um, yeah. Um, so I, I really had to buy them because they're not going to be in the store anymore. Um, but you might be able to buy them off Amazon, so comment in the down bar if you want to know the colors of them. Um, and I'll let you know the colors so you can you can look them up. Um, but yeah, so that's what I got for my Mac and my um, Sephora and then my gratis. So I hope you all enjoyed my video. I finally got a real camera and a tripod and I'm like stepping up my game. So let me know how I did. Please, please, please leave me some comments if you want me to do a certain review. Um, if some of you have sensitive skin you want me to do a review on that Peter Thomas Roth anti-cleansing gel, let me know. I'll do a review with my Clarisonic and without my Clarisonic. Totally up to you. Um, but yeah, please subscribe over this way. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.